I'm going to show you another episode um, here um, about Dicamba M, uh, which is a, um, a selective herbicide. Uh, what that means is like it's only going to select certain weeds or certain plants that's going to kill in its way. No, not like the uh, normal glyphosate, if you know, uh, the, which is glyphosate is usually um, that's going to kill pretty much what's, whatever's in its way. Uh, which is a um, non-selective herbicide, but this one here is a, um, a selective herbicide, and um, the active um, uh, active constituent in this one is um, uh, MCPA. Uh, I don't know what's the kind of chemical beyond in that, um, but that's that's what that's the chemical that's gonna kill the um, weeds. So um, if you got uh, this says that's good for uh, for the control of certain broadleaf weeds, uh, winter cereals, um, uh, pastures, uh, turf, um, uh, and, and non-crop areas. That's what it says. Um, but I think um, I think as as per the effectiveness of this product, I think it's a uh, it's kind of quite weak product like uh, I can't remember how much I paid for this one but um, it's uh, it's not a uh, okay so that's that's the actual actual uh, constituent written here which is dimethylamine salt that's gonna kill the plants but it says it's a non-selective herbicide but I used in our turf which is a um, Tiff Tuff, uh, I think some of you probably heard about it as well. It's a um, it's a turf that they um, used in um, they use in sports fields and uh, stuff like that. It's more like a fine leaf, but at the same time, it's it's kind of like from the uh, buffalo family, uh, buffalo or Sir Walter, which is like a broad leaf, but it's a it's a coach type coach type. Um, it's got the broad leaf hardness. Uh, it's got the look of the uh, push tab like wintergreen or something like that and it's a beautiful grass and I'm gonna show you um, what's the effectiveness of this one uh, but I have used this I sprayed this about a uh, probably a month and a half ago now I think and I'm still not seeing any any um, acceptable results uh, so it's a very I think it's a very uh, weak product that um, I would not recommend anyone buy. Uh, I believe there are there are certain other products in the in the market. Uh, you just gotta kind of do your own research. I'll um, I'll update. I'll give you more updates in the in the upcoming videos as well. Uh, but um, if anyone planning to get this chemical like for their garden or anything like that, I recommend not buying it. Um, simply because you're not gonna see um, any major impact or any you know any good results that you're expecting so um, so I I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some of the some of the videos that to prove uh, to say why it's not working and uh, you can see on my videos that say um, on the video because as you can see here, uh, I'm just showing, I don't know how clear these images are. These are some of the beads that I use the uh, Dicamba M on. And as you can see, that's been like a month and a half now. And uh, still they kind of slowly, slowly, like very slowly dying. Like it's, um, so that's what I told you about, you know, it's just a, this is a very, um, it's a very weak product. Also, uh, I use this in my um, turf area, and um, you can see um, how how it kind of um, killed most of it. Like, as in, it's all gone yellowish. Like, you know, I used it on the weeds because it says it's a selective herbicide, and so this is what happened to our tiff tough grass which is usually a very tough grass, but this is what happens. So even though it says a uh, non-selective, um, it's a selective herbicide, 